Joining me now, Danielle McLaughlin and Gina Loudon. Spending more time with your family is a nice way of saying he's got to go or be fired. Gina, uh, listen, uh, he, he, he was able to anger everyone at some point during the election process. And ultimately, I think it is the, 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 the internals, what we've heard, as just the internal disruption and lack of morale at the, at the FBI that probably should be the, the final nail in this coffin. Yes, well, it's it's nothing unusual. You know, if President-elect Trump comes in, he's likely to replace him anyway, I would think. But, you know, you look back at what Comey has done, and I'm not sure who's angrier at him, Republicans or Democrats, uh, at this point. But the pathetic part is that the Hillary Clinton campaign is still grasping at these desperate straws to try to blame somebody if it wasn't the Russians and it wasn't voter fraud and it wasn't election counts, they've lost all that. So now they're resorting to Comey. But the bottom line is that I don't think he's trusted on either side of the aisle. And I think him spending some more time at home is a good way to put it. Uh, and Danielle, uh, you know, listen, uh, I know Hillary in, in more recent interviews has said she thinks that, that Comey lost her the election. But let's face it, he kept her in the game. I mean, that press conference, that initial press conference, he laid out the most amazing reasons for her to be indicted, for her possibly to go to prison. Instead, he let her skate. I think he's in a morass of his own making, and, and your point about the press conference is well taken. For Republicans, it was this complete indictment without the idea of a prosecution. And for Democrats, it was this very detailed, um, sort of problematic, in some ways, discussion of what she had done. But he broke with FBI rules when he did that. He then, of course, went to Congress and gave sworn testimony about the fact that the case was over. The October 28th letter was a supplement to that testimony, which he sort of had to do because otherwise he would have purged Maybe himself. Maybe it's semantics. I don't know if the words over or closed were ever necessarily used. I know he promised to keep Congress updated. Uh, but what do you make of the notion that, that, that the Democrats are blaming him for her loss? I mean, is that something that you do? Is that, does that, do you think that last second uh, revival or the new information that had to be? And by the way, that was legitimate. Uma Abedin had these devices. Anthony Weiner, the world's, you know, one of the world's greatest perverts, he was texting to anyone and it didn't matter age. I mean, so it was a legitimate reason to be concerned. Yeah, October 28th, he said there are some more emails. November 3rd, he said there was nothing to see here. So the fact that that happened so close to the election, the fact that her numbers broke really badly for her in that last week. Florida is an example. She was up 60% in early voting and then lost it by a pretty significant amount. So it's one of the things that affects. Ultimately, we didn't go where we needed to go, uh, and she didn't do the work either. So there's a number of reasons, not just coming. Gina, uh, in one of the tweets this morning from Donald Trump, he talked about Hillary's people she's complaining about the FBI, says she should have never been allowed to run guilty as hell. To me, this tweet sort of also suggests that then perhaps uh, James Comey is, uh, was also guilty of not necessarily doing the job he was supposed to do. Yes, I think most conservatives hold out that Hillary Clinton should be in prison. And I think looking back at everything that happened, if nothing else except for the compromising of our national security, which she now complains about, it's mind-boggling how many different things they'll blame for the election of T Donald Trump. But when it all comes down, Charles, he is going to be inaugurated and he is going to be the next president. And I imagine he'll take care of this and many other matters that bother both parties uh, coming up in the short term. Yeah, no doubt about that. I'm, I just got a feeling we're going to have a new uh, director of the FBI. Uh, ladies, thank you both very much.